Wow, another Battlefield 4 gameplay. I can't believe you're uploading another Battlefield 4 gameplay. It's so dull to watch. I hate this game. I'm going to unsubscribe from you, Apocalypse. You will feel my wrath from the unsubscription. <laughs> um, please don't unsubscribe, for goodness sake. I'm just trying to branch out a little bit more here, you know? I know everybody's always classed me as a, as a Call of Duty channel, which I never really wanted to be just a Call of Duty channel. I wanted to branch out into many different games, which I do play many different games but Battlefield 4 is the game at the moment that I do I, I love you know I play more than anything so I was very widely encouraged to upload more of it and I'm quite happy to and to be fair I will I will honestly say this I'm actually pleased at the uh, at the reaction that my Battlefield 4 videos get because I didn't think they would do that well because I thought everybody was just here for COD and uh, it seems that people are I don't know whether people are just branching out or whether there's more Battlefield fans here than I previously expected, but I'm very happy to see that the activity is there. So that's good. That gives me a good, warm, fuzzy, tingly feeling in the pit of my stomach and the soul that's within me. Now, I always seem to upload TDM, and you know, Battlefield fans tend to say, don't play TDM, play Conquest. Uh, it's a lot more slower, it's a lot more slow, but it's thrilling in different ways. It doesn't give you that thrill fest of the, uh, of the speed of the kill and the chase and the Call of Duty-esque kind of game where it's just constant gun and gun, bang, 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 die, spawn, die, spawn, that kind of thing. But uh, it's a lot more thinking. It's a more thinking man's game. Kind of like chess, you know? If you think that Team Deathmatch is like checkers, this is like chess. Obviously, with Battlefield 1 and the failure to sort of, uh, I suppose, grasp people's attention with the uh, Infinite Warfare trailer, a lot more people have said, do you know what? I think I might move over to Battlefield. I think I might give it a go. I think I might get my feet wet and see what all the fuss is about, you know, try the water out, see if it's warm and see if it's inviting. And with that, there's a very good feeling of bravo, you know, well done for branching out. It took me a long time to do it. I obviously found out that Battlefield 3 was very popular and this is when I sort of noticed that there was a few people making the switch. So I did this series and I said, I'm going to do a series. I'm going to go over to Battlefield and I'm going to dominate the game because I'm a half decent Call of Duty player. I think I can take something over there with me and I think I can bring the bacon home. It wasn't the case because in this series that I did and I was sort of showcasing gameplays that I thought were really good, playing games like, I was actually playing Conquest, I wasn't playing Team Deathmatch because Team Deathmatch, what I found on, uh, on Battlefield 3, I think there was one map, unless you probably had the DLC, I don't know, but there was always one map and I cannot remember the name of it, but it was horrible. It was just a load of storage units. It was just too close quarters, too clumsy and a little bit cray cray. But I did play a lot of Conquest, and I went into Conquest thinking I was playing, you know, Call of Duty. I went in with the same mindset, and I suddenly really found out very quickly from people's reactions and from the way I was getting dominated as I was playing that if you walk into Battlefield as a Call of Duty player thinking you're going to play it like Call of Duty, you are in for a very short, sharp shock. Let's say for the sake of argument, Conquest is kind of like Domination, but on a massive scale. Now, I normally play Conquest on a small scale. You can have small scale Conquest, or you can have the larger scale Conquest. But Call of Duty Domination is like, you know, keep hold of two flags, A and B, or B and C, and keep the enemy at arm's length so that they can have their one flag and eventually win the game. Just keep holding them off that B flag. That's the most important thing. And yes, there is a clever tactic to it, when you're playing against a good team, yes, it does take some tactics and it takes some skill. But with Battlefield playing Conquest, it's all reliant on teamwork. Everybody has a role to play. And if you don't play that role correctly, it can kind of piss everybody off because you can ruin them the game. You know, you can lose the game for them. So you have to approach it a little bit more gently. You have to think a little bit more. You know, if you're running and dashing for yards and yards and what feels like almost miles, you have to stop sometimes, take a look around and figure out what's the best way to do this. You know, there's a there's a flag there, there's an objective. I might go and take that flag over, but is there any enemy tanks nearby? Do I need to lay some mines down, lay some traps? Will I need somebody to come with me? Is there going to be a helicopter watching over my, uh, you know, watching over my position? Flushing out the stragglers who are coming to try to stop me from taking this objective. It's a thinking man's game. And I think once people do move over and do get into it, I think people will really actually really love it because it took me a while to get used to the dynamics of it. And, you know, at first I actually hated it. But then when I got used to it and when I understood how to play it, uh, even though I don't profess to be a great Conquest player, I think I'm a good Team Deathmatch player. But uh, Conquest, I don't think I'm that good. I think I'm still learning the ropes with it even now. But it's so satisfying when you, you know, you can end up in the first two or top of the leaderboard of playing a game of Conquest when you're not that familiar with it. 
and actually come out on top and you know thinking yeah i won the game but yeah if you're thinking of moving over honestly my advice would be go over watch some battlefield videos get some hints tips tricks subscribe for more to uh to these people but you know make sure you go in with a backup plan and learn the ropes it really is worth it and it's so much more rewarding than, uh, than Call of Duty will ever be. But yeah, the people who are probably concerned about the, the massive Battlefield uploads, don't worry, I still do Call of Duty. Uh, I'm just not a Call of Duty channel. I like everything. You didn't know that about me, did you? See, you learn something new every single day. <laughs> Apocalypse done.